Hello, and welcome to the seventh video in the Getting Started with the STA UHD Producer Plugin video tutorial series. The UHD Producer Plugin, made by Sonic Tier Audio, is a new panning plugin that allows for flexible panning and monitoring of immersive formats that Pro Tools doesn't directly support. This tutorial will take a parameter by parameter look at an interesting feature in the STA UHD Producer Plugin rotation. When it comes to using the rotation feature of the STA UHD Producer Plugin, there are three things to bear in mind. First and foremost, you'll only see this feature in multi channel tracks that's stereo. 5.0 and 7.0 tracks. Mono tracks specifically exclude this feature. You'll see why in a moment. The second thing is that with these multi-channel tracks, all channels are linked together via a central rotational axis, which appears as a white bullseye icon. Moving the axis will move all channels of that track and moving any individual channel will affect the axis and therefore the other channels of the track. That means that it's not possible to move individual channels of a multi-channel track with complete independence. This isn't a big problem. The workaround, if you really need this kind of control, is to split the track into individual mono tracks and instantiate the UHD producer plugin on each of these mono tracks. As you saw before, mono tracks are excluded from the rotation feature and aren't constrained by an axis. The final thing to remember is that some of the parameters relating to rotation will manifest themselves only during playback. That means, as you explore this feature yourself, you'll need to be playing your session's timeline to see some, but not all, of these parameters in action. All of the rotation-related parameters are in the expanded section of the pan window of the STA UHD Producer plugin. I'll click the expanded view button and you'll see the rotational controls as four knobs at the top of the expanded view. The first parameter we'll look at is called radius, and it's coincidentally one of the parameters we'll discuss in this tutorial that you can work with even when playback is stopped. Essentially, the radius value is the distance of the individual channels from the rotational axis. Here you're seeing a 7.0 track with each of the channels in their traditional locations. The default value for radius is 100%, and as you decrease the value, you'll see the channels converge on the axis until at 0%, all channels occupy the same position. This feature, in addition to being useful for rotation, can be used in other situations. It's similar to divergence, which we'll discuss in tutorial number eight, but in reverse. You'll see here that I can reduce the radius of a multi-channel track's channels and then move the entire output and position it more specifically if I wish, regardless of whether or not I'm also using the rotation feature. Next on the list is the gyro parameter, which does require playback in order to show, so I'll start playback now. Gyro is the rotation part of the rotation feature. If I move the knob slightly to the left of the default center position, which is listed as 0.0G, you'll see that the value goes into the negative range and the channels start to rotate in a clockwise direction. If I move the knob to the right of the default center position, values displayed will be positive and the rotation will move in a counterclockwise direction. The more extreme you go with this knob, the faster rotation will be. Greater negative values will give you faster clockwise rotation, and greater positive values will give you faster counterclockwise rotation. A word of advice though, a little goes a long way with rotational speed. Moving to the right, the next parameter is called gradient. Though this is technically another parameter that can be shown when playback is stopped, it's generally used in conjunction with a change in the gyro parameter, which is only active during playback. Think of gradient as a tilt along the X axis. If you move the knob right of center, giving you a positive degree value, the front of the rotation will move down and the rear of the rotation will move upward. If you turn the knob counterclockwise into the negative degree range, then the front of the rotation will move up and the rear will move downward. The range of tilt is from 90 degrees to minus 90 degrees. Orbit is the last of the parameters and perhaps the hardest to put into words. Put as simply as possible, changes made to the orbit knob will move the position of the rotational axis in three dimensions. What makes this parameter hard to describe is that the nature and direction of this positional change will vary on the rotational axis's initial position and the number of channels on the track. This is definitely a parameter to experiment with. And that takes us to the end of our discussion on the rotation feature of the STA UHD producer plugin. Other videos in this series will look more in depth at how to set up your Pro Tools session, different features, and even some tips and tricks. To learn more, visit sonictieredu.com slash learning.